There's a person here. What about a probiotic that has both lactobacillus and bifido? Will they cancel each other out? No, we use those together all the time. And some of the most high quality professional formulas we make, we have combinations because you get different nutritional benefits in the gut from different species. There are some cases where I have done just straight lacto or I've done straight bifido just to see how people do, but those are like the 1% sensitive people, the average person we're working on, they can tolerate a combination. And then obviously if we're working on mold or candida or some other problem, we're often throwing in Saccharomyces boulardii in there too. So then now you're doing bifido, lacto, and you're doing Saccharomyces, that triple combo, which technically Saccharomyces boulardii, even though it's marketed and sold as a probiotic, technically a yeast will often work that into the protocol and it does so much better. Yeah, hundred percent. Evan, what's your experience using spore-based probiotics? You know, they give me just terrible gas. My God, it just hurts my tummy. I've tried them. I went on them. I went off of them. I went low dose. I went high dose. I mean, we even manufactured some too. And I'm like, God, I just don't feel that good with them. I've had some people that are like, Hey, this thing is a miracle cure. This is the best I've ever felt and, and good for them. But for me, it, it just did not go well. So I feel much, much better with just a low histamine, uh, more, I guess you would just call it living probiotics as opposed to the spores. What about you? Yeah, I mean, it just depends. I think patients that don't do well with your lactobacillus bifidobacter, I definitely have a good bunch that, that do better with the spore-based probiotic. So depending on the level of SIBO that's going on, some patients do really great with it. I have no problem myself with higher dose bifidobacter lactobacillus infantis species, so I don't have a problem with it. But some patients I know with significant SIBO history just do well on it. They just do much better. And supposedly that the spore-based probiotics really help potentiate the growth of these other beneficial flora. So it does help a lot of the other beneficial flora. And they do hang out a, a lot longer too. Yeah. And I've tried a couple different professional brands. I mean, there's two big brands out there. I've tried both. I, one I did actually feel pretty good on. A couple others I didn't feel so good on. So I think it could be a brand difference too. Uh, there was another question here. When's the best time to take probiotics with fiber or empty GI? I don't know the whole with fiber deal. I've never heard that before. I personally take them on an empty stomach. And I'll do them first thing in the morning, like before breakfast. I'll just pop all my supplements or I'll take them before bed. Unless I'm taking a binder, then I won't. My, my thought on it is try to get the bacteria in there, especially because some of the professional manufacturers you and I use, we're using an acid-resistant capsule. So it's actually going to bypass the stomach acid and deliver the beneficial microbes to the gut. So in that case, that's why I like it to be there. Just because there's not as much competition with the food could just be.